want to say hi? Do you want to say hi to the YouTube fam? Say hi. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about something that's going to help some of you out or maybe something that you guys struggle with. I have five tips for you guys. <laughs> Look at my braids. I got five of them. I got five tips to help you stay on track and keep fitness and your goals in mind while also enjoying yourself this holiday season. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and I want you to subscribe. Help me grow. I really just want to be there for everybody and really help you all out because I didn't have that when I was starting out and I just want to be as genuine, humble, and honest as possible and just help you reach your goals. So anyways, let's hop into it. Tip number uno is don't save your calories. What do I mean by saving your calories? So some people during the holidays, they know they're going to be eating a large amount of food, um, whether it's like Thanksgiving, Christmas, or you know, maybe a birthday. A lot of my family's birthdays are in the holidays. <laughs> if you know you're going to be eating a big meal for lunch or dinner, don't just starve yourself all day thinking that that amount of calories in that one meal is going to help you from not gaining weight. That's not how it works. That's actually like your body is going to think that you're not giving it food because you're not. But what happens is, I mean, if you starve yourself, your body is going to be like, oh my gosh, you're not giving me food. And it's gonna hold on to everything and that's gonna make you hold water, eventually gonna make you gain weight. And then as soon as you start eating again, it's just gonna like all pile back on and we don't want that. But I typically eat three larger meals during the day, but not huge meals and then small snacks. So it ends up being maybe five to six meals a day. And whenever you do have that holiday meal, just watch your portions and remember moderation. Tip number two, find somebody to help you stay accountable. Like grab a buddy, your friend, maybe your sister, brother, mom, dad, whoever, your best friend, your roommate, I don't know. I, I mean, I have my boyfriend. I've got my trainer. I don't know. What I've noticed what really helps me is instead of just going in the gym and suffering myself, just grab your friend, go into the gym, hammer out a workout together. It is so awesome having a buddy there with you because you guys are both going through it together and you can both cheer each other on because one of you might not be feeling it that day and the other one might be like gung-ho and just be able to motivate you. And then tip. Number three, what is this hand doing? What are both of my hands doing? They were like this. Tip number three, drink a lot of water. This shouldn't just be a holiday tip. You should be drinking a good amount of water every single day. It's good for your health. Your body is made up mainly of water. You need it to stay hydrated. It helps transport things through your body. It helps maintain your body temperature. It helps lubricate everything in there. You need water. I personally drink a gallon of water a day. Lately I might have been slacking because I had surgery in my mouth and I've been back to drinking a gallon of water a day. I cannot stress it enough. You need water. I mean if you want to indulge in maybe one alcoholic beverage that's fine. Maybe you like eggnog. Maybe you like apple cider. That's fine. Like you can still have those drinks, but don't neglect drinking water. You need it. Something that I've always found helpful is um, if I like if I drink a 16 ounce coffee, for instance, I'm going to match that with water. And so I know caffeine like dehydrates you, and mathematically maybe it doesn't even out. But to me, I feel better if I drink 16 ounces of water after drinking that 16 ounce coffee, just to mentally kind of balance that out. Tip number four is don't indulge in all the treats. I know this is so hard. I am that person that I'm like, I need one of everything. I'm like a buffet eater, you know, I like to get, I end up having a huge plate, but it's literally one of <laughs> everything. Unfortunately, you need to eat a normal portion size with your dinner and dessert. I know this is hard. There's like five pies, 10 different types of cookies. Just pick your favorite, you know? You don't wanna eat all of that. One, you're gonna feel sick. One time I ate like a whole sheet of brownies. I'm not kidding. So my aunt makes these delicious brownies 
she put candy bars in them. It was seriously heaven. And I think I had half the sheet of brownies. Don't eat like me, <laughs> please. And finally, <laughs> look at them go. Tip number five, enjoy yourself. Seriously, it's the holidays. You're gonna be with your family and your friends, all of your loved ones. Have fun, keep healthy goals in mind, but enjoy yourself. This is a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle, not a diet. You have to make it maintainable. Just make healthy decisions, keep moderation. Don't forget to go to the gym and do what you love. Don't like, don't starve yourself. Don't overindulge. Just find that happy medium. Come here, come here. We're not gonna eat all the treats. Are we Luna? We might, I don't know, maybe. Anyways. If you liked the video, like I said in the beginning, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any feedback for me, um, if you have any feedback for me or questions or maybe tips on new videos, go ahead, give me feedback. Like I need it. Leave it in the comments below. This is going to be my setup for a little while. Sorry it's so wrinkly. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to fix that. But for the time being, we just gonna have to work with it. I hope these five tips are going to help you get through the holiday season. Go follow me on Hope Fallon Fit on Instagram. That is where I am most active. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.